the shape of you. And Sharon's shape of you on your hometown station. We're 95.3 KUIC. John and Ron with you. In about five minutes, we'll be talking with Joshua Schaefer, who is the author of Discovering the Magic Kingdom, an unofficial Disneyland vacation guide. It's the huge second edition to this amazing book he wrote five years ago. We'll ask him about the, uh, the additional 12 to 15 million pages to this thing. All the fun facts, tips, and tricks, finding the hidden Mickeys, park history, all kinds of great stuff, all things Disney, coming up in about five minutes. Right now, let's check in with Ron, get the latest KUIC hometown traffic and news. It's 7.53. Let's welcome our good friend. We can call him a good friend because he's certainly treating us like friends. We're talking about Joshua Schaefer, the author of Discovering the Magic Kingdom, an unofficial Disneyland vacation guide. Josh, thanks for joining us this morning. I appreciate it. Good morning. Happy to have you on board again. Hard to believe it was five years ago, last month, I believe, that you were on the show when the first edition of this amazing vacation guide came out. Uh, in the five years since you published the first version of Discovering the Magic Kingdom, Josh, you clearly have been doing research because the new edition of this book <laughs> has got to be, I mean, I'm not making this up, it's twice the size of the first one, right? I mean, have you got that much new material in this book? Um, actually, it's about two and a uh, a half times larger so this one's about 700 pages my first one was 220 my first one had a thousand fun facts this one has 3700 fun facts that have to do with disneyland and disney movies it's really amazing you've got tips and tricks there for people who like to find the hidden mickey mouse uh, you know ears uh, throughout the and the little face throughout the park you've got uh nearly 400 of them you can find if you use this guide and i gotta tell you i had a chance you shipped it to to me to take a look at before the interview i had a chance to read it cover to cover believe it or not i got fascinated by the things like the background information behind the disney movies that particularly the animated ones that a lot of us grew up as kids you did a lot of research getting some in-depth things about one of my favorite movies that nobody watched which was robin hood <laughs> you know where the little fox was robin hood and that kind of thing <laughs> you go into detail where did you get that detail who did you have to talk to find this stuff out, Josh? It's, a, it's amazing stuff. Great detail. Well, this information is out there. There's websites. There's other books. You can listen to interviews. You can read articles. There, it's everywhere. I just rewrote it all and put it all in one place so that everybody can have access to everything. That way you don't have to go to all different places to find it. It really is kind of all in one, everything you need to become, you know, if you're not already a Disney fan, and of course many of our listeners are, this is a terrific book to use. Now, you're going to be signing <coughs> copies of this book, Josh. Tell us where you're going to be and when so folks can not only pick up a copy of it, they can meet you and get a signature on the book as well. Well, this Saturday I'm going to be at the Antioch Family Fair, which is located on Somersville in the parking lot of the Antioch Mall. And then I will also be at Barnes & Noble on Lone Tree in Antioch on September 16th. So and like, yeah. if you want to get, if you don't want to drive all the way out to Antioch, you can get a copy of my book from my website, which is discoveringthemagickingdom.com. DiscoveringTheMagicKingdom.com. We'll put that information on our Facebook page as well so people can connect with you through social media and they can follow that as well. What would you say, Josh, when you get... I mean, obviously, you've, you've road-tested this book. You've, you've had people get it. They've used it out there. What are people using the book mostly for? I love it for the trivia, but for people who are going on vacation, I mean, are you finding that those are the people that are utilizing this thing more so they can get the most out of their experience at Disneyland? Um, yes, a lot of people take it with them to the park uh, so they can have something to read while they're in line. Um, or they can use it for the tips and tricks, how to save money, um, special things to do in the park, like if you have somebody with special needs, what to do when you get there, or if you're traveling with an infant. Some of that information is just harder to come by in regular travel guides, so I made sure I had that in mind. You did a great job of it. And finally, just my, my last question that was kind of gnawing at me. You know, Disney is a humongous company, and you got a lot of you, what I would call cooperation from some of the people in Disney, including forwards in the book by Disney legend and Imagineer uh, Raleigh Crump. You've got um, uh, Terry Harden, one of the Jim Henson puppeteers and an Imagineer for Disney. Was, was Disney easy to approach when you are putting this book together, or did you encounter some resistance from the Magic Kingdom? Well, it was, um, it's an unofficial guide. Uh, I didn't have any contact with Disney, but I met Raleigh Crump because I interviewed him on my podcast, and he agreed to write my foreword for my book. And Terry Hardin, I met at conventions, and she's become a good friend. She's a really nice person. She's fun to talk to, and she also agreed to write a forward for my book. It's awesome. You've got to pick up a copy of this book. You can go get it signed copy from Josh um, at those appearances that he's making in Antioch. We'll put those on our Facebook page as well. Or what's the website one more time, Josh, so folks can order the book? 
DiscoveringTheMagicKingdom.com DiscoveringTheMagicKingdom.com Hometown Mornings with John and Ron on 95.3 KUIC